What's going on? Hey, I'm Isaiah Tripp here with Trip Talk. And today I just wanted to briefly talk about forgiveness um, because I feel like it's a really important topic. And I feel like also it's a very hard thing to do, but it is necessary, uh, not just for the other person, but again, for yourself. Forgiveness is necessary for yourself, um, but it's hard to do. It's hard to forgive people, um, but it's necessary because think about this for a second. We often as humans do this a lot. We'll hold a grudge on someone uh, and you may have reason to. I'm not saying you don't have reason to hold grudges sometimes, but we do that. We hold grudges on people sometimes and we have, you know, what you call maybe a legitimate reason for that. So we think. But think about this. We'll sit there and hold a grudge on somebody, but then we'll pray to God and ask him for forgiveness of our sins. Um. And it's just funny, like we'll ask for forgiveness, but we won't lend out the forgiveness. And what that does is that just blocks a lot of your blessings. I feel like it blocks a lot of our blessings and we don't realize that sometimes because number one, when you hold a grudge, you have that hostility in your heart and you have that devilish spirit in your heart and that'll get you nowhere. When you have like a negative spirit in your heart or uh, one that just filled with that's just filled with malice. I mean, that won't get you anywhere because that'll be holding you back. It'll be holding back your, your decision making. It'll be holding back your thinking and everything else. Another thing is you, you blocking your blessings because you want to be in touch with God, but you're not um, you're not living out God's will. You're not doing what God asks you to do, which is to forgive your neighbor, to love your neighbor. And so we want to get blessings, but we don't do the things necess necessary for us to receive those blessings. Um, I just want to talk a little bit briefly again about just the fact that forgiveness is about you, not the other person. A lot of times we feel like, you know, I don't want to forgive that person because that person did this to me and they're going to think I'm a slouch and they're going to think they can just get over on me all the time. And really, you know, they're not really doing anything to you. They're doing something, first of all, to one of God's children. And revenge is not for you to seek out. That's for God to to let that, you know, let that universe cycle back around. What goes around comes around. So they're going to get what, you know, they're going to get what they deserve. You know, we just got to understand that it's not for us to do that because number one, um, we do bad stuff to other people too. Like we make mistakes too. Like, you know, I, I, when I think about it, it's like, I don't want to forgive somebody, somebody else, but me in my personal life, I make mistakes too. And I want people f to forgive me. So how can I not forgive, you know, my brother or sister, you know, someone who doesn't want to forgive. I mean, you're just pretty much saying that you're perfect. I mean, anyone that wants to judge someone else, you're just pretty much saying that you're perfect. I mean, how can you judge someone else if you yourself are not perfect? I mean, it's just like, how can imperfect people judge imperfect people? And so I know it's hard. Um, I even got to sit here and say that I'm not the best, uh, you know, at forgiving all the time. I've definitely got a lot better with it, but I'm not perfect. I don't want to say I'm not the best because I, 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 I am really good at forgiving people, but I'm not where I need to be. So it's hard. I'm here to say that it's hard. I'm here to agree with people uh, and, and and say that, hey, it's hard to forgive people. But also, just because it's hard does not mean it's not necessary. It is necessary for us to forgive others for ourselves, and then also for, for the fact of just living in truth. Living in truth, doing what God asks you to do, um, because a lot of us feel like we don't hear God sometimes and he doesn't answer our prayers. And maybe he doesn't answer our prayers, but maybe there's a reason behind that as well. God's, you know, a lot of times we say God's just leaving us by the wayside. But is he or is he just waiting for us to come into our calling and to come into what he wants us to be? And so just something for you to think about. Uh, if you got somebody that you hold a grudge against, just try to forgive them, man. And um, see how that lifts a big weight off of your shoulder. It just lifts a big weight off of your shoulder. And then the person you forgive and sees something in you. I mean, if you want to create change, you have to lead by example. You know, if you're not forgiving someone, then you just put more negativity in the world and like put it. Like, well, let me just say this and I'll close. 
A lot of us think we have to tell somebody to do something to get something out of them. But really, you just have to show them by example. So if you do something to me and I hold a grudge on you and I'm like, forget this person, I ain't, whatever the case may be, they, you know, I'm kind of implanting a spirit within them to go out and do the same thing. So I'm really not changing the world in a positive way. I'm just, you know, holding a grudge, essentially. But when someone does something to you and you forgive that person, you have no idea what that does to that person. It changes them, it changes them completely because, number one, it shows them that, hey, you are loved. It shows them that, hey, it's okay. And it also shows them that, hey, you can be forgiven. You can, to be forgiven is a powerful thing. There's a lot of people out there that just needs forgiveness because their parents stepped on them when they were growing up and they didn't have no love at the house and they just need somebody to forgive them. And so let's try to forgive today. I'm Isaiah Tripp. It's Trip Talk. See you next time.